Gemini, welcome to your September love reading. I hope that you guys are all doing great. I send you so much love and light. So this is your love life, the second half of September. Let's take a look and see what kind of energy is coming in for your love life. How are things going to be for you? What is the vibe like? What is the energy like? It could show us experiences you could have, things to be aware of. Um, but let's see what comes through from spirit. All right, you guys, uh, before we get into the reading, I just want to take a moment to go out the white light of the Holy Spirit. Sagittarius, his energy is coming through. I wonder if any of you are about to have a Sagittarius that walks in, or if you're dealing with a Sagittarius currently. It could be cross watchers here for you, or your moon, or rising signs. The eight of it's funny because there's all of like this heaviness that's here. The three of swords and the five of wands i wonder if you guys are going to be dealing with someone that is like very cautious because this energy is like i want to take things slowly i want to take baby steps i need you to be really patient with me it's very hard for me to trust so I feel like you have someone either like around you now who's being this way or that could come your way that I'm telling you that taking things slow with this person is absolutely worth the wait. You know, don't think it's going to be something that takes forever to like play out or for them to open up. But what I can see someone around you needs is like uh, for you to be like very patient with them. I see how hurt this person is. So either, I wonder if this is someone new that's coming in, someone that you've met recently, or if this is your current person for whatever reason, I see where there is this energy of something that is still very much hurting them. It doesn't matter how long it's been since they've experienced this, whatever is going on with this person, the energy around them is like they're still so currently hurt by it. And where I can see all of this energy of like, it's difficult for me to trust. I need you to be patient with me. I'm afraid to let myself fall. I'm, I'm afraid to let myself take a chance. They're afraid because for some reason they feel like if I let myself go, are you really going to be there for me to support me? Or am I going to end up falling flat on my face and hurting myself the way that I've been hurt so many times before? So you have a person around you in September that looks, um, I can just see where their, their heart has gone through so much. And I wonder if you feel this way, Gemini. I wonder if you feel like you've gone through similar experiences as well and maybe you need someone to be very patient with you the same way if that's the case and the two of you just have similar experiences that you could bond over because you understand each other so well and you could be mirroring one another i just see where there's so it's like um there's so much energy of coming on strong, right? Because that's what the Eight of Wands is. So I can see where there's a lot of communication. I feel like it flows back and forth. But funny enough, the more someone comes on strong, the more it makes the other one, I, I think that they can feel kind of pressured, not to say that you're putting pressure on anyone, but some of you may feel this way. It's like there's pressure and I'm afraid, I'm, I'm afraid. It's like, I don't know what's gonna happen and I need to feel like it's safe. I need to feel like I'm sure. Okay, I wonder if any of you are trying to fix things with whoever you're involved with. 
and they could be feeling this way, Gemini, or you may feel like these are your own feelings and this can give you, um, it could, it could be your own feelings, but I do feel like I'm picking up on what's going on with whoever you are involved with. Really, the, the, the biggest thing that they're thinking of, which makes them feel so hurt, is how it's failed before or how like their own failures, you know, this has to do with love. It has to do with their love life. Things that maybe they thought were going to work out didn't work out. And I just feel like they're still so caught up in that energy of what went wrong before, what didn't work out before. So where where the overall like advice and and even energy coming through is all about patience. So if you are looking for someone, Gemini, right now that's ready to take a leap of faith, that's ready for a relationship, ready to be an open book and open up completely. If you're, if you're wanting that now, I just don't see this energy around this person right now. Now, that doesn't mean that that won't change uh, with patience. I know that's kind of a, that can get really touchy depending on how long you feel you've been waiting for this person to open up, you know, depending on how much you feel you've invested and you're not getting back. Like, I, I totally get that. The energy can be tricky if you feel like you've been patient. Um, but what I can see coming in for the second half of September um, is definitely the need to have patience. I want to look into this full energy. And you know, for some of you that were, maybe this is a newer connection and you're still getting to know this person, there could be things with you that they haven't opened up and shared, especially with the way that they are still so hurt. So I don't look at this person as exactly ready to be in a relationship right now. Or if you are already in a relationship with them, it's like someone who needs, it's like I need to feel like I'm safe. I need to feel um, like I'm protecting myself. You know, don't think I'm blaming you for any of this, Gemini, or like put this on you like you should own this. You know, no. But this is what's going on. That's what I can see. I do honestly feel like the less the less um you guys try to put a label on things or the less you try to I wouldn't try and make big decisions. It just seems like things need to have more patience, be taken easier with less pressure. Maybe maybe you know that that's what I feel it's all about like someone I, I think that they want this. I think they want a relationship. I just think that in order for them to feel like they can let their guard down, they need to feel like, okay, you understand me. You're patient with me. You're not going to like rush me into anything. Because I feel like the more things need to like have a label or pressure or like make decisions, big decisions and figure things out, the more this person uh, like shuts down. So you'll know more about what's going on with them, Gemini, especially if this is your long-term person. If this is your long-term person, I would just definitely say to avoid making big decisions and avoid like putting pressure on, on anything major right now, at least for the second half of September. Maybe just kind of let things be and leave it alone. Or if this is like your newer person, someone that you're still getting to know, slower is definitely better. The slower you take things and the more like gentle you are, like the more this person will open up. And like I said, you know, don't get me wrong. Don't think I'm saying you guys are like coming on strong or you're aggressive. No, not saying anything like that. But I can just see those energies where when pressure is applied, this person caves under pressure. When things are lighter, easier, where there's patience, it's just like allowed to flow. This person blossoms and opens up. And even the Knight of Cups is coming in, um, which is like... Maybe you feel it's them giving their heart back to you, returning more of that romantic energy to you. Okay, I want to look at this. Eight of Wands. The 
that's really what the reading is showing me very clearly. Pisces, Capricorn, Sagittarius, Libra energy is all here. So if you guys are involved with any of those signs and you relate to the energy, the reading is especially for you. But it could be moon or rising signs or there could just be cross watchers here that you guys don't know about that are watching to see what's going on with Gemini. It's it, This is very clear to me. Because the moon is like a path that's open and the moon is like illumination, clarity. I, I know where I'm going. I know what I'm doing. I feel like there's no obstacles in the way. I'm not getting in my own way. That's what the moon represents, right? When you see it come in reverse with energy, that's come, this is the eight of wands. It's coming on very strong. There's a lot being poured onto this person. And I know it comes from a very loving place. I know it comes from someone who's genuinely interested into them, passionate about them, which is all good. But I'm telling you that it has the opposite effect that someone wants. When you see all of this attention and communication come in with the moon in reverse, this just feels like I'm pressured and I'm shutting down. So even put it to the test. If there's someone that you want to open up to you, Gemini, Less is definitely more. Less is definitely more. The less you come on strong, the more this person opens up. Now, for some of you, Gemini here, you may feel like that's your energy and that's how you want someone to be with you. And if that's the case, and maybe you didn't know how to express it to them or put it into words, maybe take some of the energy in the reading and like, you know, verbalize it to them. If I know you may not want to open up about what's still hurting you, but it'll be so much better if you do to just, because I feel like this person will understand where you're coming from. And you just, if you just tell them like, I, I appreciate like, what you're putting in i see you know if you just tell them like you see how um, into this they are you see how much they care about you the things that they do for you you know you could acknowledge that thank them for that but then just tell them the way that it makes you feel you know there's still some things that it's hard for me to open up still some things from from the past that i'm dealing with it's not that i don't want to open up but i just need to know that you're going to be patient with me it's not so easy for me to trust and I don't want you to bear the burden of that. I just want you to understand what I'm going through. That's really what it's all about because really the more someone comes on strong and is like trying to figure everything out and categorize everything and put everything into a box where it belongs, the more it just makes this person feel like things are unclear, that I'm confused. I'm telling you, patience opens up a path. Do you see that? Because that's really what the temperance card represents. And then do you see where there's this long path that leads to something that looks very successful to me? But, you know, at the beginning, it's about not putting pressure. So this may be how you want someone to approach you the second half of September. Gemini, or if, if you feel like this is not your energy, because what I'm picking up on is really maybe who you're involved with. This can give you a lot of insight into how to approach things. You know, I wonder if you're sitting here feeling like, oh, I'm trying this, I'm trying that, I'm trying this, I'm trying that, and I, I don't know what to do. Like nothing, it doesn't seem like anything's working. If you feel like that's the case, it really is because less is more. And the more things are just like easy, I just feel like what I have to keep telling you is don't try to make any big decisions right now. Maybe just kind of let things be and ride out for the rest of the month. That's what I feel I should tell you guys. Okay, I'm going to look at this five of wands. I know they want to come forward. I know this is a person who's just kind of like going into a cocoon right now, going into a shell right now, but that doesn't mean that what they feel for you is, is not mutual to what you feel. Just because um, they are hurting from something, focused a lot, uh, tr certain things are triggering this person and they're focusing on what failed in the past. Maybe things are like starting to get like serious between you and them or you're talking about serious things and maybe it just triggers this person and they think of a time where maybe something else was serious and it didn't work out. 
That's what I feel is going on. So that it, you know, if that's the case, don't don't go blaming yourself or like racking your own brain trying to figure out what you are doing wrong, Gemini, because you're not doing anything wrong. You're not. It's just what this person is going through. Because I see someone who is genuinely interested and into this and passionate about it and like excited about it. And that's a beautiful way to feel. It's just that this person has to feel like it's safe to come out of their own shell. And when there's less pressure, they come out. Leo's energy is here, you guys. Are you thinking of a Leo? There could be cross watchers here for you, Gemini. It could be moon or rising signs. Um, but that's what I can see. I do really feel like things are going to turn around. I do feel like you guys are going to end up in a beautiful place where things are. I just feel like patience is needed here. That's really what it's all about. Um, not worrying about what anyone else thinks or what anyone else has to say or trying to keep up or, you know, keep up with what anyone else is doing around you. I talk about that because this is like competitive, the five of wands. So know that you don't have to compete. Know that you can go at your own pace. You guys are writing your own story. It doesn't have to fit into any, any box. You know, don't put pressure on you. Don't put pressure on them. Um, and I, I think that things will really turn around because I can see you guys being very happy, very, and you know, very happy. The sun card shows me the potential, the beauty and the connection, where things could go, how you could feel. All right, Gemini. So I do want, because I, I honestly feel like I'm picking up on whoever it is that you're involved with, but some of you may feel like this is your own energy and how you want someone to be when it comes to you, putting less pressure on you, being more patient with you. There could be things about the connection that's triggering you and making you think about what didn't work out before. And if that is the case and you haven't opened up and expressed these things to your person, if you do that, I mean, I, I think that it will be very productive for the two of you because of the way that I think that they're going to understand. And I think they're going to treat you the way that you need to be treated right now. They will. I think that they will be incredibly patient with you. So maybe just express that to them. Don't think that they're going to take offense to it. I don't think they're going to take offense. I think that they'll absolutely understand and maybe even feel a bit relieved by you telling them these things, if, if that's the case and this is your energy. All right, you guys. Gemini, that's what I have for you for the second half of September. I love you guys so much. I do hope that it was helpful for you. Um, if it was, give the video a thumbs up or if you just enjoyed it, thank you for spending this time with me. If you're new to my channel and you haven't already subscribed, I do hope that you stick around and subscribe. Leave a comment, uh, share the video, maybe with someone that you feel it's for or it will help, you know. Thank you guys so much. I love you. I'll see you in the next reading.